Welcome to my part three rant on annoying parents. So much more things that parents do that can at times annoy us. God forbid all the time because I feel bad for anyone who has parents who annoy him and her 24 seven every day nonstop. That is too much. No one deserves that. Let's get this video rolling. Number 21 parents who are so anal. You probably have parents like AKA your mom who feels that everything must be nice and tidy like it is supposed to be 100% perfect. She wants you to do it the way she does it when cleaning the bathroom, raking leaves, etc. Even when you do a good job, she will go behind you making sure it looks and is done the right way. My mother is so anal, she feels sorry for being anal. And I wouldn't mind her being a little anal, just not when she wants it done her way all the time. I mean, as long as it looks good, then that is what matters. At least we can put some elbow grease into it. Number 22, parents who are always trying to sing. Has any one of your parents tried to sing a song, but their voice is not that good? Especially if something is caught in their throat, like some mucus or whatever. If you can't sing, then don't even try so hard to hit a high note. It is even more annoying when your parents want you to sing along with them. They could possibly say, if you know the words, sing along. If you don't sing, they'll probably think you don't know the words. May we do know the words, we probably just don't want to sing. May we feel more comfortable singing during our alone time. Is that really such a crime? If we sing, we sing. If we don't want to sing along, then we don't want to sing along. Number 23, parents who say you don't know about this or that because it was ahead of our time. Your parents listening to songs they grew up on during their childhood, high school days, etc. You know, they'll probably say things like, oh, you'll know about the temptations. That was before your time. Ooh, Blue Christmas. You don't know about Elvis. I love this song. Mom, I listen to Elvis, so I know about him. Oh, please, you teenagers don't know about it because you'll say it's old and always caught up with today's music. Just because it was ahead of our time doesn't mean we don't know about it now. We can in this generation. Music is music. So what if it's older? It is known as a classic for a reason. Nothing wrong listening to Elvis, Ray Charles, Billie Holiday from back in the day. Billie Holiday is awesome. That is who Amy Winehouse reminded me of. She reminded me of a modern day Billie Holiday. Frank Sinatra was badass. Number 24. Parents who say, why can't you do this or that? If you happen to struggle with a certain subject in school like math, English, etc., but you are more passionate something else. Your parents say to you, well, you're good at this, but not good at that. I am good at knowing stats when it comes to sports like basketball and a little bit of football. I know what college, when the player was drafted, etc. But I know when it comes to me struggling in certain classes, they would say, well, why can't you be as passionate with math as you are with stats or if only you could do the same thing when it comes to getting good grades and they'll just laugh that is so annoying they act like we're not trying we are it's just that there are certain subjects that we struggle we try to find a way to succeed and work things out parents act like they receive straight A's in school but we all know they didn't their parents told them the same thing they tell us. Parents, just know that your children are trying for crying out loud. Number 25. Parents always want to talk to you. It is cool talking to our parents, but you may have parents who want to always talk to you, especially when still living with them in the same house. Your parents may come downstairs and say, hi, so-and-so. One of them will go downstairs, come back. Go into your room, say hi, and so-and-so again. Probably ask you questions, want to see what you're watching on television. They leave, and let's say an hour later they come back downstairs. 
Um, they say hi and so so again. Oh my goodness, you see me every freaking day. Must you say my name so much? And if you don't respond, they'll say, Oh, you're being rude and disrespectful. We have no nature doing that. We just want you to stop calling our name so much. Is that so freaking hard? No, it's not. Number 26. Parents always giving you death threats. I'm sure you all can relate to this. If your parents think you did something or think you're talking back or pretty much trying to piss them off. Death threats is all they think about. It's the first thing that come into their minds. You know, they'll say death threats like, oh, somebody's going to die today. Somebody's going to die today and it's not going to be me. Don't you make me cut you with this knife. If you don't hurry up and clean that bathroom, I will slam your body to the ground and break your back. Who do they think they are? Internet trolls? You guys are no better. They're as bad as them. It seems like parents threaten their children to scare us or to make sure we do whatever they tell us to do. This and that. Either way, that's unhealthy and uncomfortable. Come on, parents! There is no need for that. Let's not forget that your parents may say this. I brought you into this world and I'll take you out. Yeah, great uh, Bill Cosby reference. Ugh. Number 27. Parents who play around too much. We wouldn't mind our parents playing around as long as things don't go too far. Sometimes our parents will go overboard if they mess around with us too much when it comes to pulling their fingers I guess or say something about your head or your weight or mimic whatever you say it can get very irritating even if you ask them nicely to please stop they'll possibly say no because I'm the parent deal with it no one out in the world can talk about you except me am I right regardless if we are family or not, I would appreciate it if you stop playing around so much. Fall back a little bit, whether you realize you are playing too much or not. Look in the mirror. <laughs> Number 28, parents who think they can say or do whatever they want. Parents think they can do whatever they want to you, mess with you, talk about you because they're the parents and they deserve their rights. Just because you're the parents doesn't mean you have to do all those things. In my eyes, honestly, any parent who says that, I think that that can make them sound like an asshole, to be honest with you. And I know for a fact that you are not, so why even say that? I mean, you're telling me that children don't have their own rights, too? Everybody has their own rights. I mean, come on. Number 29, parents can be such hypocrites. We don't like hypocritical parents. They'll tell us, don't do this or that, but they do the exact same opposite thing that we did. Parents tell us that playing video games in our spare time is a waste of time, but they watch hours of television every freaking day. Parents tell you not to accept candy from strangers, but they um, take you out for trick-or-treating. What? They will tell you to be yourself for who you are, but at the same time, they will judge you on your weight or clothes, even if you're not matching and coordinating with your clothes. Let's say you try to call your mom on her cell phone just to check up on her, but she doesn't answer. Now you're at home and your mom comes in and she goes, why didn't you call me back when you were at school? You had me worry sick. Mom, I was in class. I, I can't talk to you during class. It's rude, and, and I couldn't get in trouble. Oh, please, it's always an excuse with you. I'm telling you the truth. This is not an excuse. Come on. Watch your tone. What? My tone is fine. I'm not angry. Oh, sure you are. Mom, stop assuming I'm getting angry. This is very overwhelming for me. Great. Now I got your panties all in a bunch. You're so soft. Parents, please stop being so hypocritical. It is not cool because you're not setting a good example for us. Or let's say one of your parents tell you to clean your room because you have a certain uh, guest coming to your house, like a, a relative, like your grandma or grandpa or a cousin. 
but they don't come into your room. It's like, what was the point of you telling me to clean my room if they're not going to come in and see it? Really? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what was the point? <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. And finally, number 30. Parents assuming you're always talking back, getting smart when trying to have a conversation, discussion, or argument. Isn't it so irritating when parents always assume you are doing these things to piss them off? Even when you put them on the spot, they always have to say, stop talking back to me. Do you know who you are talking to? Even if you're talking a little bit loud because of your voice, especially if you have a deep voice and it's all high and all escalated a little bit, they will think something is wrong with you. Like you are trying to talk back when really we are just trying to talk, have a conversation, all about communication. Life is too short to go back and forth arguing. I mean, we do have our certain emotions. It's not like we're doing this on purpose. Everybody just have our certain emotions. You know, our emotions are different, you know. Can't you understand that? I also hated how they can get agitated over something that's not even serious. Like someone bled or died. Thinking we're trying to make excuses. Always trying to explain ourselves. You don't have to always explain yourself. Maybe so, but maybe we want to so we can solve a problem of a situation of the conversation we are trying to have. Don't you always hate it when parents have to bring up one of the Ten Commandments? Thy shall not disobey your parents so your days may be longer on this earth. Like, to make sure we haven't forgot about it. Because we did not. And I'm surprised there's not an Eleventh Commandment. Like, thy shall not disrespect and treat their children differently so your days may be longer. You know, some for the parents. Because at times we may feel disrespected and mistreated by our parents. There are some parents who abuse and make fun of their children like what Peter does to Meg and Family Guy. Children deserve respect too. Everyone does. So as long as parents respect us, we respect them. Is it not that hard? The end. Don't you get it? Have respect for both of us. My goodness. Anyways, this has been my rant on Annoying Parents Part 3. And I think I will possibly do a Part 4. So many annoying things that parents do. Regardless, we love them. But oh my goodness. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. See you later.